During the last bull run, the top 25 coins outperformed the rest of the top 100 cryptos in the market. And when looking at the top performing cryptos within the top 25, a few of them completely outperformed everything else and it wasn't even close. BNB, who was at number 14 during the bear market, finished as the top performing crypto in the entire top 100 during the last bull run going up almost 13,000%. If we look at Dogecoin that was ranked 21 in market cap, it came in as the second best performing asset at just over 11,000% return. And how about Cardano, who was at number 11 in market cap? It came in fifth with a return of over 6,100%. On the other hand, Bitcoin barely cracked the top 10 as the number nine best performer in the top 100. And this time around, I don't think it will even crack the top 25 best performer. The goal of today's video is simple. Try to find the cryptos with the most potential for the highest returns during this bull run within the top 25 market cap cryptos. Now, one thing to note with these lists, they were based on a historical snapshot from the 2018 bear market and one from the 2021 bear market when Bitcoin peaked. If we look at the top 10 from the 2018 snapshot, we'll notice that pretty much everything changed. We have BNB, Solana, Polkadot, Doge, Shiba Inu, and Terra Luna. That means that six new projects entered the top 10 by the end of 2021 versus the bottom of 2018. So that's something that we have to keep in mind. And looking back in history, this pretty much happens every single cycle. If we look at the top 10 cryptos right now by market cap, we'll notice that it looks very different than the top 10 cryptos in 2022 when Bitcoin bottomed out. And this will always be rotating and changing and it doesn't account for shiny coin syndrome, which is a situation where people focus attention on an idea that is new and trendy, yet drop it in its entirety as soon as something new can take its place. So for today's tier list, we'll be focusing on the top 25 coins right now as of this recording, excluding stable coins, of course. To try to predict returns, we'll be using historical price performance. We will be considering current market cap because more room to grow means there's more potential for a higher return. We'll also pay attention to utility and trending narrative. So we're gonna be looking for potential 10 to 20 X coins, five to 10 X coins, two to five X coins, and coins that you might just wanna sell. So we'll go in order by market cap, and of course, the first one is Bitcoin. Bitcoin's already up over 3X from its bottom. My prediction for Bitcoin during this bull run is somewhere between $150,000, which would be an 8X, up to around $200,000, which would be around an 11 to 12X. Now, of course, that's from the bottom. So if we've moved that to where Bitcoin's price currently is right now, that turns more into around a 2X. So with Bitcoin, we're gonna put it here in the two to five X tier. So when you're setting up your portfolio, it's always a good idea to have Bitcoin as kind of the foundation of your portfolio. But if you're on the smaller side of things, maybe a thousand dollars or less, then honestly, Bitcoin would probably be a sell for me at that point because the return for me is just not there if you have a thousand dollars or less. All right, so the next coin we're looking at is Ethereum. Similar to Bitcoin, it's up over 3X from its bottom. Now, an interesting thing with Ethereum that it hasn't even hit its previous all-time high yet. It's currently about 36% away from its previous all-time high. I'm of the believer that Ethereum could probably hit at least around $10,000 during this bull run. Using the Fibonacci extension here, it gives us a target of around $10,400, which gives us around a 2X from current prices. I think that's around the minimum that we probably get. I think 15,000 and even 20,000 is also within its reach. That puts Ethereum around that two to five X as well. So at number three, we have Tether. Of course, we're skipping that. So next is BNB. So similarly to Bitcoin, BNB has already hit a new all-time high this year, up almost 3X from its bottom in 2022. If Binance remains the number one exchange in crypto, I believe BNB could hit somewhere between 1,500 all the way up to around $2,000 during this bull run which will put it right around a 2X from its current prices. Next, we have Solana, currently sitting at number five at $138. Solana has not yet set a new all-time high this year, which is currently around 88% away from current prices. It has already had an insane move up from its bottom out price in 2022, almost a 17X as of this recording. I think based on Solana's utility and community, it has a real chance of potentially testing that $1,000 mark during this bull run. That will put it around 6X from current prices. 
upgrades. So that's gonna be the first one that we put in this five to 10 X tier. Next we have XRP. Now this is a tricky one. During the last bull run, XRP did not hit its previous all time high. This is due to the ongoing SEC versus Ripple case. This case began all the way back in 2020, four years later and there's still not really an end in sight. Prices are currently around 600% from its previous all time highs and about 300% from its 2021 highs. If this case were to get settled, I believe XRP could potentially not only break previous all time highs, but set new ones around that $5 mark. That would be around a 9X at that point. However, in the worst case scenario where the case doesn't get resolved during this bull run, then we're probably looking at something more around where we topped out last time, which would be around a 3X from current prices. So it's tough to say, honestly, it could fit in either in this two to five X area if the case were to not get solved or in the five to 10 X tier if the case did get solved. I'm gonna be optimistic and say that it does get solved and we could potentially get this nine to 10 X return on it. Next we have Dogecoin, the second best performing crypto from the top 100 during the last bull run. It's currently about 500% away from its previous all time high. I think that's something that we could potentially see once again during this bull run, maybe even hit a dollar, which would be around a seven X. So that's gonna land it in the five to 10 X potential returns tier list. Next up we have Tum coin. Now Tum is a newer crypto that actually came out during the bear market in 2022. It's already done over an eight X from its bottom price back when it came out. If you're not familiar with Tum coin, it was developed by the Telegram team, but Telegram had to end its involvement with Tum blockchain following a court order by the SEC. So the blockchain was renamed from the Telegram open network to the open network with Tum coin as a native cryptocurrency of the Tum network. This one reminds me a bit of Chainlink during the last bull run where it went from around these prices up to around $50 during the peak of the bull run. I think that's something that this coin could probably do, which will put it around a 6X. So let's go ahead and place it in the five to 10X tier. So this brings us to Cardano at the number 10 spot. Cardano is actually down right now, 52% from its most recent high. So this might definitely be a good opportunity here to load up on some Cardano. And it's about 780% from its previous all time high. So if it only went up to its previous all time high, that's pretty much an 8x already. If we think it's gonna go higher than that, maybe to let's say four, maybe five dollars, that puts it at around 12 to 13x from current prices. So that's gonna qualify for me for the first one in the 10 to 20x tier. At number 11, we have Avalanche. Similar to Cardano, it is currently down almost 60% from its most recent highs in March. Guys, this is an insane opportunity. From current prices, when it gets back to where it was in March, that alone is 141% return. Amazing opportunity if you ask me. If it only went up to its previous all-time highs, that's already about a four and a half X. I think this is one that can easily get to between two to $250 during this bull run, which would be around a six to eight X. So Cardano is definitely going in our five to 10 X tier. At number 12, we have Shiba Inu. Shiba is currently down 60% from its recent highs. So a move from the current price to its most recent highs is already 151% return. That's basically free money. A move to the previous all-time highs would be around a 4X. I think Shiba's pretty much gonna be moving with Doge. It's become one of the blue chip meme coins. It was a meme coin everyone spoke about during the last bull run. And I do believe it sticks around. I think if it gets enough pop here, it will once again become the talk of the town. And we could very well see this do anywhere between five to maybe even 10X. So I'm putting Shiba in the five to 10 X tiers. So next up we have Tron. Tron like everything else in the market is currently down from its recent high in March, but it's had an overall decent rally from its lows up 157% and currently only 58% away from its previous all time high back in 2021. So it's kind of hard to predict this one. I honestly don't really know what's going on with the Tron network other than Justin Sun being the one behind it. But for the most part, it does follow Bitcoin. So I could see it doing maybe a two to three X. I'll probably say maybe 50 cents is in the ballpark for this bull run which again, is only a 3X. So I think Tron could stick around that two to five X tier. Next up, we have Polkadot, currently sitting at 8.3 billion market cap. It's currently down 52% from its recent highs back in March. So we pretty much have a one X of free money by the end of the year, I would say. And from its all time high, it's still down 90%, which is insane. If we were to say that this would only get back to its previous all time high, that's already basically a nine X. 
If it sets a new all time high, then we're talking about 10X and beyond. So for me, this is going to go on the 10 to 20X potential tier. This is a second one joining here with Cardano. So next up, we have Chainlink at number 15, also sitting around $8 billion in market cap, currently down about 37% from its recent highs in March. And what's even crazier is that it's still down 73% from its all time high back in 2021. So a move back to its all time high would be about a 3X. I'm thinking that we go at least to around that $100 area during this bull run, which would make it around a 6X. So Chainlink definitely goes at least conservatively in the 5 to 10X tier. Next up, we have Bitcoin Cash sitting at number 16 at a 7.6 billion market cap, currently down 46% from its recent high in April. You can basically double your money here once it gets back to those highs. And the crazier thing is that it's down 90% from its all time highs. However, its all time highs was set back in 2017 when Bitcoin peaked during that time, right when that Bitcoin fork happened. So last bull run, we didn't get anywhere close to that. Actually remember when Bitcoin Cash was initially listed on Coinbase is when it had this big run up over $4,000. However, during the last bull run, it had a high of around 1642. So I think that's a bit more realistic. And even then it's still down 76% from its highs there in 2021. So I'll move back up to that, which I think is entirely possible. That alone would be around a three X. If we think there's a shot to hit 2000, maybe even a little bit above that could send it to around a five X. So I'm going to put Bitcoin cash in the two to five X tier here for me. Next up at number 17, we have Uniswap currently sitting just under $6 billion market cap. Uniswap is currently down about 41% from its recent highs back in March. And overall, it's down over 77% from its all-time highs back in 2021. A move back to those all-time highs would be around a three and a half X. If we're thinking things go higher, it could potentially be between a five to, I would say seven X. If it were to go to a hundred, that would be close to around a eight to nine X. I think that's probably its best case scenario. So this will qualify uni in the five to 10 X tier. Next up at number eight, 18, we have Polygon Matic sitting at 5.7 billion. And I'm not gonna lie, this one has fallen hard. This one was in the top 10 at one point. It definitely shows in the chart, it's down 55% from its recent highs in March. So pretty much a guarantee to double your money here by the end of the year. If we just return to the previous highs, if we return to last year's highs, which was actually higher, we'd almost do a 2X here. Overall, it's down over 80% from its all-time highs back in 2021. So just to move back up to its all-time highs, that would be a 4X. I know people are off of it right now, but it was a darling during the last bull run. It still has solid utility and fundamentals, solid tech. It's very important in Ethereum structure. So I think a 10X is very doable with this one right here. I would not be surprised to see this get back into that top 10 market cap area, which would put it at that point over a 10x so if i'm being conservative i would put it in the 5 to 10x tier but being conservative is no fun so let's bump it up to that 10 to 20x tier it just has everything that you would want to see in a project as far as utility tech and fundamentals next up we have the og litecoin sitting at 5.5 billion number 19 in market cap this crypto has definitely stood the test of time it's currently down 34 percent from its recent highs back in april and down 82 percent from its all-time highs back in 2021 so just to move back to its previous all-time high would be close to a four to five x if we went beyond it let's say to five hundred dollars that would be close to a six x look guys yes it's boring yes it's old does it really have utility not really but this thing has stood the test of time i think a five x is definitely doable beyond that uh i don't know so i'm gonna keep it in the two to five x tier at number 20 we have near pro protocol sitting at 5.4 billion dollars so near is a newer project it actually launched at a really bad time literally in the bear market and it recently set a new all-time high up here at nine dollars which was about an 800 percent move like everything else it's currently down about 43 percent from its recent all-time high back in march a move back up there would be around a 1x because it's a newer project i think it has a lot of potential its market cap is still pretty low at five billion dollars i honestly think there's real potential for this one to five to 10 X or maybe even more. I think this could easily get above $50 during the peak of the bull run, which would put it around a 10 X at that point. And again, it has that shiny coin syndrome. So let's be optimistic with this one again. 
and put it in the 10 to 20 X tier. So Dai is a stable coin at 21. So we'll be skipping that one. So the next one at number 22 is Leo at a $5.3 billion market cap. For those who don't know, Leo is the Bitfinex exchange token. So just like Binance has BNB, Bitfinex has Leo. Exchange tokens usually are pretty solid during bull runs. You can see it's only down about 7% while the entire market has basically been collapsing. And it's only down about 30% from its previous all-time highs. Now how high can this go? I don't really know. This one's a hard one to kind of predict with its limited price action. It's also going to depend on Bitfinex exchange overall, how that does. But I think I could see it do a two to five X. I think that's in the realm of possibility for it. So uh, that's exactly where I'm going to put it here. Two to five X. Next up, we have number 23, which is Pepe currently sitting at $4.6 billion. Pepe is the third meme coin that we have here in the top 25. Potentially this year's Shiba currently down about 36% from its recent, not only high, but its recent all time high. So again, with these with limited price action, it's a meme coin. It's hard to really predict on how high it can go, but based on what we've seen with meme coins already this year, based on what we saw during the last bull run with Shiba Inu and other meme coins, I wouldn't be surprised that this did a 10 to 20 X, maybe even beyond that and caught up with Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. Dogecoin currently sitting at 17.8 billion and Shiba at 10.6 billion. We expect all these numbers to go up during the peak of the bull run. So can Pepe go from about 5 billion to 50 billion? That's definitely a possibility, which is why I'm gonna bet on the meme coin community to really push this thing up and do a 10 to 20 X at least during this bull run. All right, we're getting close to the finish here, guys. Next up at number 24, we have ICP Internet Computer sitting at about $3.8 billion. This one has definitely taken a beating here, down 60% from its recent highs back in March. So we'll move back up just to its recent highs, what I like to call free money, will be about a 1.5X. What's even crazier is this, Where where's the top here? Where, where in the world? is the top of this candle. Look at this. It's way up here at $2,831. What in the world? So I'm not gonna count that and I'm not gonna count any of these. Let's start counting it from right here where it peaked during the 2021 bull run. You can see it's down over 90% from that peak. Just to move back up to the peak of the 2021 bull run already puts it almost at a 10X. So I think it's definitely possible for this one to do something between a 10 to 20X during this bull run. So that one goes right up there on that top tier. Next up, we have Ethereum Classic. ETC is another OG. This one's down about 40% from its recent highs back in March, and it's down over 86% from its all-time high back in 2021. So if it just got back to its previous all-time high, that would be a 6X. Now, similar to Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic is a fork of the Ethereum blockchain. For the most part, what I've seen with Ethereum Classic is that it follows more or less what Ethereum does. So if you're bullish on Ethereum, then Ethereum Classic is probably also a coin that you could be bullish on because it's pretty much going to do the same thing as Ethereum. So is a 6x possible? I definitely believe so, which qualifies it for me in the 5 to 10x tier. All right, so that was number 25. However, because we've had a few stable coins that we skipped, we're going to add on three more to make it the top 25 with no stable coins. So next up is going to be Caspa, sitting at $3.4 billion. This one had a massive run in 2020 of over 2,700%. So far in 2024, it's up only 35%. However, it did set up some new all-time highs recently. It's held up pretty good during this pullback, only down about 26% here compared to all the other altcoins that we've looked at. Now, like a lot of newer coins, these are a little bit harder to predict since it's kind of already in price discovery, recently hitting new all-time highs. But I do think that it has the potential to get up here to that $1 mark at least during this bull run it has a big community behind it that alone would be around a 6x at that point that would only put it at a 
around 21 billion, which right now would put it just in front of Doge. But during the peak of the bull market, we know everything's gonna go up. So it could potentially go even higher than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Caspa up here in the 10X to 20X tier, because I really do think that this project could potentially get up to those levels. All right, at 27, we have Monero, currently sitting at about $3.1 billion. This is another project that's been around for a very long time, all the way back to 2014. You can see it's been pretty solid here during this dip, only down about eight and a half percent. That's actually less than Bitcoin itself. Overall, it's down about 67% from its all-time highs back in 2021. So if it were to get back to its previous all-time highs, that's a 2X. For this one, it's similar to Litecoin to me. It's not really anything exciting, but it's an OG. It's been here for a very, very long time. One of the original outcoins. I don't think this is going anywhere. I think we definitely see this do at least a two to five X during the bull run. So the final one we have here is Aptos. Currently sitting at number 28 at about $3 billion. This was one of the newer coins in 2023 and it has taken a tumble here down currently 64% from its recent highs in March and down about 66% from its all time highs back in January of 2023. So just to move back to its previous highs back in March would almost be a 2X already. So how high can this one go during the bull run peak? I wouldn't be surprised to see this go up to around that $50 mark, which would be around a 6X. So I think this one will go here in the five to 10X tier. So there you have it guys, take a screenshot of this list if you want. Those are the top 25 coins and what I think their potential returns could be during this 2024, 2025 bull run. The ones at the top, I think have the most potential for the biggest returns and the ones at the bottom probably have the most modest returns, right? Now I didn't put anything in the sell category because I think a rising tide is going to lift all ships. So pretty much anything in this top 25 is going to eventually go up as the bull market accelerates. Now some are going to go up a lot higher than others. So these are my top bets to be potentially the top performers during this bull run. Maybe one of those will be this bull runs version of BNB and Dogecoin. Now, if you're wondering when this is gonna happen or maybe how to set up your portfolio based on this information, then you're gonna wanna check out this video right here, which is my data backed crypto investments for 2024. In that video, I break down exactly how you should be diversifying your portfolio depending on the amount of capital you have and how much risk tolerance you have. I also show you guys exactly when this bull run is really gonna start accelerating and really gonna take off based on its historical patterns. And I give you guys a prediction on where Bitcoin could be going, where that peak might be based on a power law used by an astrophysicist. So if you guys wanna make the most amount of money possible during this next bull run, make sure to click on this video right now.